SpaceX Starship 63 obstacles before launching again. Have they been addressed? Let's go see. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Fireside. What do you think about that cup? It's getting to be my season, guys. It's getting there. <sighs> We're getting a little bit witchy here, a little bit seasonal. Anyways, I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. We're gonna be talking about the obstacles that are in the way of the latest Starship Part Two launch. When is this going to happen? Is it going to happen in September? Is it gonna happen in October? Is it gonna happen next week? According to Elon Musk, it sounds like it's gonna happen any day, but we know Elon Musk is not always accurate when it comes to his timing. Anyways, we're gonna get into that today. Before we do, we wanna say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out, they are free. How can you be free? Go over to jcristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jcristina.com forward slash books. Pick them up. I even have the prologue to this book right over here, how to create a digital Fort Knox backing up your digital life. Go get that. If you want to buy the actual book, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it in my shop over at jcristina.com forward slash shop. Also, if you get anything out of this video, throw it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to tell your friends, family, colleagues, everyone about the channel. And if you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not please do so and if you are subscribed click this little button over here so when i go live or when a new video comes out you will be notified of it immediately also if you want to say thank you for all of my hard work there's a little thank you button right down here click on that give a dollar or two if you like if not that's fine consider becoming a member of the channel that would be even better Finally, if you're looking for a VPN or if you need a static IP address or need port forwarding, go check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is jcristina. If you use that at checkout, you will get 15 additional percent off. Go over to jcristina.com forward slash VPN. Once again, jcristina.com forward slash VPN. So let's get into this. I was reading a bunch of articles about this because I really wanted to know when are we going to see the new version to Starship launch and will it happen sooner than later? And a lot of you have been asking me about this. So I said, you know what, let me do some research. I'm going to see what's out there as of today and I'll give you that information. So we're all on the same page because all of us know if you are a Starlink user, if you're looking into getting Starlink, Starlink uses low earth orbiting satellites. These low earth orbiting satellites, they count right around 4,500 right now operational, but Elon Musk is looking to have about 42,000 in LEO or low earth orbit. And to get that to happen, he needs to use Starship to get them there because the new satellites are bigger and not only are they bigger, the only way to get a lot of them up there is to use this massive rocket. Once again, the Starship, it's about 165 foot. It is a massive, the largest rocket ever. Anyways, this is what we're trying to accomplish so that we Starlink users can get better accessibility, faster speeds, lower latency, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, I did a bunch of research. I found one article that kind of encompasses a lot of what I was reading through X or through Twitter. And it was done by, I think it was space.com. So I wanna read through some of this to you, give you my commentary. And most importantly, I wanna know what you think about all this. What are your predictions? So the article starts out by saying, SpaceX is gearing up for its second liftoff of Starship the most powerful rocket ever built. The vehicle slated to make the leap is ready to go, according to the company's founder and CEO, Elon Musk. SpaceX just needs to secure the necessary regulatory approval, including a launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA. That license could be coming soon, though perhaps not as soon as Musk would like. We always know Musk timing is not always the best. Quote, we're working well with them and have been in good discussions. Teams are working together and I think we're optimistic about issuing a license sometime next month, the FAA's acting administrator, Polly Trotenberg, told Reuters. 
Last Friday, September 8th, the FAA wrapped up its investigation of Starship's first flight, which occurred on April 20th. That test mission aimed to send Starship's 165-foot-tall stage most of the way around the Earth with splashdown targeted for the Pacific coast near Hawaii. But Starship suffered several problems shortly after launch, including the failure of its second stage to separate, forcing SpaceX to detonate the vehicle high above the Gulf of Mexico. Those issues spurred the FAA's mishap investigation, which identified 63 corrective actions for SpaceX to take. The company has addressed 57 actions that were required before the launch of Flight 2, Musk said recently on X, formerly known as Twitter. The other six corrective actions relate to future missions, according to the billionaire entrepreneur. The timeline for Flight 2 whose aim will be similar to those of the April mission, may remain murky even after the FAA issues a license. Quote, SpaceX would still need a separate environmental approval from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service before a launch, Reuters wrote. Trottenberg did not say how long that might take. Of course not. Musk would like to fly Starship as often as possible. That's in keeping with SpaceX's ethos. The company iterates quickly and proves out or finds issue with its design via test flights. Basically, what that means is SpaceX blows shit up, then iterates, blows shit up again, and then iterates once again in comparison to like NASA, for example, where NASA would take, let's say, 10 years to do something. SpaceX will take 10 months. And the reason being is they're not afraid to once again blow it up. Anyways, I found the actual information over on Twitter or on X. And I want to read this to you because this is the basis of this entire conversation. It says this, SpaceX conducted a test flight of the Starship Super Heavy at Boca Chica, Texas on April 20th, 2023. As a result of that launch, SpaceX completed a mishap investigation with the FAA oversight. This investigation analyzed the launch, mishap events, and corrective action. Before it is authorized to conduct a second Starship or Super Heavy launch, SpaceX must obtain a modified license from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other regulatory requirements. As part of the license application determination process, the FAA will review new environmental information, including changes related to the launch pad, as well as other proposed vehicle and flight modifications. The FAA will complete a written reevaluation or a WR to the 2022 Programmatic Environmental Assessment or the P or PEA, evaluating the new environmental information, including Endangered Species Act consultation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. If the FAA determines through the WR process that the content of the P, PEE, do not remain valid in light of the changes proposed for Flight 2, additional environmental review will be required. Accordingly, the FAA has not authorized SpaceX proposed Flight 2. The FAA will provide updates with notification of any license determinations or results of additional environmental review. Basically, when is this going to happen, right? When is this going to happen when we read through this? In my personal opinion, I don't think that we're going to see a new Starship launch, the part two, let's say, the second attempt this month in September. I just don't think so. Of course, there's a lot of reasons for this. Number one, we don't want to see another April RUD, as they call it, R-U-D, or rapid unscheduled disassembly. So we don't want to see that. Basically, them hitting the self-destruct button, boom, and watching that all blow up. We don't want to see that. We also don't want to see a sh storm of concrete blowing all over and destroying parts of the launch pad, right? We don't want to see that. There's a lot of things that are at play here, but I think the biggest thing is we're going to see a lot of this foot dragging happening. Foot dragging is what the bureaucratic agencies do. They are professionals at that. They stymie things based on just sometimes craziness, what you and I might call crazy. Other people might not, but there is a lot that's going on. And we know that Elon has been put behind an eight ball because they really don't like him. 
So they make it more difficult on him. And I don't think that that's a bad thing, right? He is doing something that is absolutely amazing with mega rockets, okay? So there needs to be a lot of safety involved here. You can't just like launch a rocket and the thing just shoot into the middle of Texas someplace and blow up Houston or I don't know. You know, you can't have stuff like this happen. So there has to be this type of regulation, but we do know that they drag their feet just crazily. And one of the biggest things that I think is just amazing is that even when they get approval from the FAA, they will then have to wait indefinitely for approval from the Fish and Wildlife Service. The Fish and Wildlife Service. That will be the deciding factor when the new Starship goes up. So that being said, I don't think we're going to see it in September. I think the beginning of October sounds about right. Maybe the first week, maybe the second week in October. If it was to fly in September, before the end of September, I will be shocked. I just don't think it's going to happen because we know how all of these agencies work. It's just a slow go of it. According to Elon Musk, 57 of the 63 problems are already addressed and only 57 need to be addressed. So he's ready to go. This thing is ready to be launched. I'm hoping that when it does launch, it doesn't have to be blown up again. And it actually makes its way three quarters of the way around the world and then splashes down right outside maybe the North Shore of Hawaii. That would be fantastic because then now they could move on to the next stage. And then finally, the last stage before they can start populating the top fairing of this starship with satellites and other type of cargo. So it's exciting. It is definitely exciting. We're not there yet, but I would say within the next month, probably three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks, we're going to see a starship launch out of Boca Chica in Texas. This is once again, to me, very exciting. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think that they're going to launch earlier? Do you think they're going to launch in September? Or do you think that they're going to launch in October? I do think that it will be in October. What do you think? Down in the comment area below, let's have this discussion. Anyways, guys, thank you for being here. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.